what's up? Sludge Joker here, and finally, the moment has arrived for the 900 series to come back! I just kind of had to do my little rock moment there. That was almost very kind of rockish, but not really rockish. But anyway, 900 series has arrived. Uh, the Game 24 event from NVIDIA is set to be starting their live, their 24-hour live stream tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, and that's 2 a.m. in the morning uh, on the 19th for the people over in the UK. And if you live anywhere else, then you can just figure that out for yourself. Um, but 6 p.m. Pacific tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern, my time. I'm definitely going to be tuning in, uh, hopefully, to see some live stuff of the new 900 series. Because right now we have photos, we got specs, we've got benchmarks, and I'm going to be covering all of those in this video. And first off, I just want to say that the 900 series is shaping up to be absolutely stunning. Coming in at about 15% more powerful than a 780 Ti. Some, some people were speculating that it would be maybe around a 780 Ti or maybe not really even dethroning the 780 Ti. Um, but I can tell you that it is. It is 15% more powerful than a 290X or a 780 Ti. That's in almost every single benchmark. It's around the 14-15% mark. A couple of them around 10, but for the most part, we're averaging around 15% improvements over the 290X and the 780 Ti, which is absolutely amazing, considering the fact that the, the, the new 980 is going to be launching for $549 on the reference version, and then around $599 you can expect for the aftermarket cards like from ASUS and MSI with their custom coolers and overclocks and all that kind of stuff. And that's going to be right at launch, and I guarantee we probably will see a price drop at some point in the future, but already starting off, that's an amazing, amazing price point for the performance that you're getting in these cards because they're already cheaper than what the 780 Ti's are selling for now. Now, despite the fact that the GTX 980 is coming out with only 2,048 CUDA cores, which is less even than the 780, which was at 2,304, we're going to see some pretty amazing performance. Uh, it's coming with the 256-bit memory bus that we expected. The memory out of the box is going to be clocked at 7 gigahertz, and the core clock is going to be at 1,126. That's 1,126 on the core out of the box. That is pretty damn impressive. And then with a boost clock going up to 1216. And now to add on to that, this thing is only pulling a 165 watt TDP. And that means there is going to be huge, huge overclocking potential with having a maximum thermal range of around 270, I think 270 or 275, somewhere in that area. So if it's coming out of the box at 165, that's all that room you have to play with because these cards are, should be running very, very cool. Unfortunately, at this time, we don't have any uh, numbers as far as temperatures on these running at ultras and, you know, on 100% load and all that, but we will get those soon. But based on the TDP and everything, you can expect these cards to run a lot cooler than the previous Kepler design that we had out there and as far as powering the unit the actual thing will be using two six pin connectors although from aftermarket cards we probably will likely see like an eight pin six pin combo or maybe even something like the lightnings if you remember they did dual eight pins because they are such a massive overclocking card so the, who, we'll have to wait until we see the aftermarket designs once they actually start rolling out which should be pretty damn soon um, there's been some leaked screenshots photos of MSI 970 boxes lined up on a shelf so they look like they are ready to go at a moment's notice and they'll probably be on Newegg um, probably tomorrow or the next day I'd have to expect because that's usually how they do these graphics card releases. They generally announce them and then they're out the next day. Uh, and one more thing I want to say also about the design of the 900 series in general, um, not just the 980 but also on the 970, they have changed the rear I.O. a little bit. Um, if you remember back on like the 700, 600 series, basically you had your two DVI inputs, one for DVI-I, one for DVI-D, and then you had the HDMI and the DisplayPort connector. This time they are changing that around. They're still going to have the dual link DVI, which is great. Um, if you're out there doing anything like 120, 144 hertz, you're going to need to be using DisplayPort or dual link DVI since HDMI only has a max refresh rate of 60 hertz. Uh, anyway, so if you're, you know, it's good that, that they are keeping the dual link DVI for that purpose. Um, and then team with that also an HDMI port, which is pretty standard. We should have expected that. Um, but then beyond that, three. 
three display ports ready to go right out of the back. Uh, so that should be pretty amazing, especially if anyone out there is crazy enough uh, and wants to do like a triple three-way surround ROG Swift 144Hz 1440p G-Sync monitor setup of the, of the fucking gods, okay? Imagine that fucking setup. Three G-Sync monitors ready to go, all running off DisplayPort as they need to be because G-Sync needs DisplayPort. Now, obviously, the 980 is the flagship of the series coming out of the gate, but let's not forget about its little brother, the 970, which is looking comparably on performance to uh, maybe around like a 780, but they're saying it's about it's about 10% faster than an R9 290, uh, which is pretty impressive because the price point on this thing is absolutely insane. The reference card coming in at a stunning $329. Say what? What the fuck did you just say? Did you just say what I think he did? Yes, I did just say what you think I did. Yes, I did just say it. I just said it. That is right. 329 American dollars. Two, 329 dollars for a GTX 970. This thing is going to be amazing. So many people are going to be lining up for this 970 at that sweet 329 dollar price point. Are you kidding me? Two of those bad boys in SLI for just over 600 dollars and you're looking at about comparable performance to what I'm running in my system right now with two 780s for, for about 600 dollars. This setup cost me a thousand and forty bucks. 520 dollars for each of my 780s. You can now be getting that performance for just north of $600, maybe around $700 if you're getting aftermarket coolers and things like that. That's amazing. The fact that you could be doing that for around $700, which is like the cost of a 780 Ti right now, is mind-blowing. And the 900 series is just looking really, really, really exciting. Um, just massive overclocking potential. Um, you know, they're sticking with the Titan black cooler on it, which looks really nice. Although I'm probably going to go for an aftermarket design when I do pick these up. Uh, you know, they got the nice backplate on there, uh, three display ports. I mean, what more can you ask for in the 900 series of cards? Now, I know this is all a lot of information. I'm going to give you guys a few benchmark scores here just for reference, just so you guys, uh, you know, just have an idea. But I, like I said, I am linking down below to where you can go check out all the scores. They've, they they pr did maybe about 10 different benchmarks uh, with the 980s, the 970s, comparing them against the 780 Ti's and 290X, 290, things like that. Um, the GTX 980 on the Fire, Fire Strike Extreme benchmark is coming in at 5,483 points. Comparative to the 780 Ti, which got 4,752, which is a 15% increase, roughly. Just under 15%. Now, going over to the Heaven benchmark, which is probably one of my favorite benchmarks, the 780 Ti uh, was getting 63.5, whereas the, was the 980 got a full 72.6 FPS. Absolutely amazing for a single GPU. Stunning, just blowing away the 780 Ti. No questions asked. And then finally, the last one I'm going to mention is Bioshock Infinite. The 780 Ti was doing 110.4, while the 980, 124.5. So certainly some very, very impressive numbers. Increasing on the 780 Ti, and especially increasing on the 780. So for me, it's a, it's a definite, I want to upgrade. It's just a matter of... You know, selling these cards and find someone wants to buy them and then I'll take that money and upgrade to these. Uh, but I'm excited for the 900 series. I'm really, really excited and I hope you guys are too because these numbers are very impressive at a very good competitive price point. Um, you know, some performance and, and prices we've never really seen from NVIDIA at a launch before. Typically their cards are a little bit more money at launch. Uh, and, you know, these coming out of the gate are looking really, really attractive, I'm sure, to a lot of consumers out there that are looking to upgrade, uh, myself included. Hopefully, if I can get rid of these two 780s, I will get two 980s. Uh, but, you know, it's got to be the prices right. And I've got a few people that are interested in picking up the 780s. Uh, but, you know, I am looking to get rid of those so I can get two 980s. And hopefully, I can bring you guys unboxings and installs and, you know, SLI performance numbers and all that stuff, just like I did back last year with the 780s. Um, so, you know, keep an eye out for that. Um, thank you very much for watching. Once again, please check the links in below if you want to read about this further. And keep an eye on GeForce for the Game 24 event, which is just a few hours away. Uh, as always, please follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Joker Slunt. You can also always get back to my channel by going to JokerSlunt.com. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, stick a like below. I'll catch you next time. 
Ta-fucking-rizzah!